Hi ladies, here I am with another video. I told you I was going to be making more videos of my other pin cushions and this was probably a very fun one to make to make because of the base I used. And I was done a couple weeks ago, I was done at Joanne Fabrics and of course they have all their summer stuff out. And um, I saw these unique cups, they're ceramic cups. Um, and they are ice cream cones, the sugar cones, uh, not the sugar cones, the, oh, I forget the name of them. Uh, but I, I purchased this one. I thought I'd give it a try. And it, of course, is pink, my favorite color. And I thought, I wonder if I could make a pin cushion out of that, make it look like an ice cream cone. So that's what I did. I filled the bottom of it with some of my glass stones. So it would, it would stay still. And then I decided what kind of ice cream would I want in my ice cream cone. So I was down a pack of tans the other day and I found some fat quarter material. And one of the materials that I got is a printed material that is cream and brown. And you can see that here, cream and brown. So I thought my ice cream is going to be a chocolate vanilla swirl ice cream cone. So I went ahead and made the pin cushion out of that material that I had purchased. And I hot glued it in. And then I thought, hmm, sometimes kids allow their ice cream to start melting because they can't eat it fast enough. So I took some cream lace. It's about an inch and a half wide here and I hot glued it around and then I took a smaller cream lace. It's about a half an inch and I hot glued that on top. So that represents the ice, the ice cream that's melting down from this ice cream cone. And then I thought, well, an ice cream cone isn't complete without some sprinkles. So I added a strand of pearls all the way around here and they're like my vanilla sprinkles but I wasn't done yet since pink is my favorite color and the ice cream cone is pink I thought well my ice cream cone has to have some pink sprinkles too and of course as the ice cream is melting the sprinkles is melting with it so I found this lace uh, this beaded border down at Pakatan's for a dollar and I went ahead and purchased it. And the, this goes all the way around. And these little pink danglies here represent my pink sprinkles that are melting down with the ice cream that's coming down off the ice cream cone. But I thought it was kind of cute to do. I love ice cream cones. Sometimes I like to get the sundaes, but there's nothing like a good old-fashioned ice cream cone. But I thought, well, it needs some stick pins. After all, it's a pin cushion. So let me show you the pin pins I made for in it. This is the first one. And of course, since it's a chocolate and vanilla ice cream, I took a brown bead and a white pearl, and I put a little pink, pink bead at the top. And that is one of the stick pins I use I made. And then I made this one, and it too is the chocolate and the white. I used two pearls, and then a chocolate or a brown colored uh, bead in the center. And of course, I had I had bought um, some beads that were little flowers, and I thought, you know, you can get candy just about in any shape. And I thought, well, that's a little candy that can be on top of the ice cream cone. It has a little pearl on top and then a two-tone bead there. That's just a little miniature a stick pin. It's a little one. And when you go to a birthday party, you have to have ice cream and cake. So I made a cupcake stick pin. It's a pearl on top and then a little cupcake bead on the bottom. And those are the stick pins I made for this pin cushion. But I thought it was kind of cute. I like the idea that it's an ice cream cone and 
it's kind of, I, I, I think it's cute. I hope everybody liked this. I, I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun making it. I may be going back down to Joanne Fabrics to see if they have any more of these and maybe doing them in some other colors. So, but this is my chocolate and vanilla ice cream cone pin cushion. And I hope everybody likes it. I had a good time making it, and I hope you like it, and I hope everybody has a great day. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. Bye-bye.